Last Friday, I went to the sauna and it did wonders at resetting my dopamine system. Now, a lot of you guys probably already know that dopamine is a bit of a, a big thing in our modern lifestyle. There are many things like watching porn all the time, spending a lot of time on social media, playing video games all the time, that really numb our dopamine system. And so that can really impact our life in a bad way because your, if your dopamine system is numbed, it makes you less motivated to work towards things. It makes doing things less fun because dopamine is the thing that drives your reward and motivation system. And so all in all, it is a big thing. There are many people who have a numbed dopamine system who just cannot find the motivation to, do, to, to work towards their goals. They cannot find joy in watching a movie or playing a video game anymore. And it's, it's impacting their life in a very negative way. Now, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, you probably already know that one of the biggest things you can do is make sure that you don't watch porn all the time, cut down social media, cut down the video gaming, etc. It's, it's like a lifestyle change you have to do, right? And that's 100% true. The only way to really fix your dopamine system is to fix your lifestyle. But in this video, I wanted to talk about something interesting. I wanted to reset my dopamine system. And I know some of you guys are going to laugh at this, but I wanted to reset my dopamine system for the upcoming game, New World. Now, by the time I post this video, the, the game is probably already released. I'm recording this one day before the launch. And so I wanted to make sure that when I play this game, my dopamine system is fresh, that I actually get to enjoy this game. Because I'm someone that, that keeps struggling with dopamine you know, throughout my life. And I've got it reasonably under control now, but still it's, it's not ideal. And I've often had these times where there was a new game that released and I would play it. And on paper, it would have been a game that I would have enjoyed, but it just didn't work. It just didn't grab my attention. And then at other times there were games that were not that special at all but my dopamine system felt fresher, cleaner, you know, there was less clutter going on in my mind. And it just, it, it, the game engaged me so much more. It just grabbed my attention for some reason. And I think that has a lot to do with dopamine. Now, I, I really don't even play video games that much anymore. I used to play them a lot in the past. Right now, I barely play, play video games at all, but once in a while, a new game releases and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna play it a little bit for a couple of weeks, see how it goes. So I was planning to do that with this upcoming new game and I wanted to reset my dopamine system. So first of all, you know, again, lifestyle changes, but there is another thing you can do and that is the so-called dopamine fast. Now you might've already heard about this. It's a bit of a thing on YouTube. There are a bunch of these self-improvement YouTubers who will go on like a dopamine fast. And basically the idea is you do like nothing or as little as possible on, an, on a day. Just, you, you try not to give yourself any dopamine at all. So you don't spend any time on your phone, your computer. Some of these guys don't even eat at all because eating also gives you some dopamine. You just do as little as possible. You basically just sit in a chair in your house. And that's how you spend the day to reset your dopamine system. And so I thought, well, I wanna give myself a, a little dopamine fast, but I'm not gonna just sit on a chair doing nothing all day. But what I can do is that I give myself a relaxing day at the sauna, the spa, which is like a complex, different saunas, pools, and hot tubs and stuff like that. We just spent the whole day sitting in a sauna or sitting naked on a chair in the garden, just relaxing. I thought it would be a good idea to just go there and this way I can have a relaxing day and at the same time, give myself this dopamine fast because I will be doing nothing I won't even bring a book. I'll just spend the whole day sitting there in a meditative state, you know, like in a sauna or naked on the grass, staring at a pond, doing nothing, just relaxing, resetting my dopamine system. And so that's exactly what I did. And it did wonders. I felt amazing after the, the, the day, the evening after, but also the next day when I woke up, I felt fresh. I felt motivated. I just, felt like jumping out of bed and doing something. 
It didn't even matter that much to me what it was, whether it be playing a video game or going to work. I just, I just felt like I wanted to do something that gave me any form of satisfaction. And this is a feeling that I really don't feel that much at all lately. Lately, like last couple of years, probably like as long as I can remember. And this made me realize just how much you can do in one single day, how much you can reset temporarily, because it's just a short term effect, but how much you can temporarily just reset your dopamine system and give yourself that fresh energy, that motivation to actually do something with your life. Now again, guys, <laughs> In the end, it is only lifestyle that, that's really going to fix your dopamine system. If you keep watching porn every day and spend several hours on social media and playing video games, then going to the sauna one day is not going to do anything to your dopamine system in the long term. Right? Lifestyle changes, that's, that's where it's at. But the point I'm trying to make here, do not underestimate what we can achieve in one day. Give yourself, give your brain a break from time to time. And it doesn't even have to be like going to the sauna because a lot of people don't like to be naked around other people. I can understand that, but it can be anything. You know, you can go for like a very long walk in the forest or if you have a home that has a garden, just sit in the garden the entire afternoon. If it's a sunny afternoon, sit in the garden. Don't bring your phone. Don't even bring a book, but just spend a couple of hours sitting in your garden. Just make sure that it's just you and reality and spend a couple of hours in reality. And that's probably going to make a huge difference. And I think this can also really give you a lot of hope and motivation that things can get better. Because if you're trying to fix your life in like the long term, and that means quitting social media or at least reducing social media, reducing video gaming and reducing pornography consumption. Let's be honest. If you're used to always doing that all of the time, that is insanely hard and it takes insanely long for the actual effects to show up. It's just so hard to, to consistently adopt all these positive habits where you just suddenly quit doing all these things. A lot of people don't manage to instantly stick to that and so they lose hope and they never really get to the point where they actually get rid of these things, where they actually reset their dopamine system. And this is where I think the dopamine fast comes into play. Because yeah, again, the dopamine fast is a short term solution, but that short term solution can give you a taste of what lies on the other side. And I've experienced this several times before, and I experienced this again this Friday when I went to the sauna. Guys, it is worth it. So I just wanted to quickly remind you guys of that. I wanted to give you some hope. I want to inspire you to maybe try something similar. Go to the sauna, sit in your own garden, go for a long walk in the forest, whatever it is. Just make sure that it is just you and reality. Now, I really hope you guys can benefit from this video. I hope you guys will try it out and that you will see how great it can be yourself. Thank you for watching. Maybe click the like button, leave a comment below if you want to help me out. Click the subscribe button if you want to help yourself out because that way you will be seeing more videos. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.